Have you ever thought about how powerful God's word is? I mean, like really stop to think how powerful the word of God is when we declare it over our lives, when we declare it over our situations, when we declare it over the, the people in our lives, things change. It's because the word of God is alive and active. And that's in Hebrews 4.12a. Today, I just want to talk to you about the power of declaring God's word over your life. And as I was reading this morning, I got out my uh, my book here. This is where I keep my my declarations or, you know, my verses that I'm memorizing. And I put this one together back when I was diagnosed with MS and I was really looking for God's word because I knew the power of God's word even at that time. And that was like 10 years ago. But I knew that if I wanted to overcome the situation that I was in, then God's word had to be declared over that situation. So I just remember talking to the Lord one day and I just wanted him to provide some clarity, to provide a way for me to be able to declare the specific things that I wanted over my life, but I didn't have this put together yet. So I was having a conversation with the Lord about a way to um, to find that resource. And I was at this women's convention thing and uh, this lady come up to me and she's like, the Lord put it on my heart to give you this, this book, you know, this pamphlet here and it's on God's healing. And that was just a huge revelation for me. That was just a huge time in my life to know that the Lord is listening right? He's always listening. He's omnipresent. He's always available. So I want to encourage you to never forget that, right? Never forget that the Lord hears our prayers, that the Lord hears every word that comes out of our mouth. So we have to be intentional about the words that we're speaking. We have to be intentional, especially about the words that we're declaring over our life. So I just want to read through some of these today to give you an idea of what I mean about declaring God's word over your life. The first one I'm going to read is, um, this is based out of Colossians 1, 21 and 22. And it says, Jesus is the Lord of my life. Sickness and disease have no power over me. I am forgiven and free from sin and guilt. I am dead to sin and alive to righteousness. See how powerful that is? When we declare God's word like that over our life, things change, all right? Things move. Things that have been stuck for years seem to clear out of our way. That's because God's word is alive and active. And it makes a difference in our lives when we declare it. Listen, here's another one. Jesus bore my sins in his body on the tree. Therefore, I am dead to sin and alive unto God. And by his stripes, I am healed and made whole. And that's based on 1 Peter 2.24, Romans 6.11, and 2 Corinthians 5.21. That is God's word written in a declaration. And it's truth. And we're not taking his word out of context. Like this is based on scripture. These declarations are straight out of the word of God. And I know for myself that when I read these declarations and I read them out loud, that I do feel more powerful, more encouraged, more connected with the Lord. I, I mean, I feel whole and healthy. And you, if you followed me for any length of time, you know that I think it was like 10 or 11 years ago now, I was diagnosed with MS. And at the time, that rocked my world. Uh, like I was out of commission for a good two years. And then for the next three I was just trying to wrap my head around it because I was um, a believer and I had been a believer for probably mm, five years or so by then. And 
I just was living on the glory cloud, I guess, for lack of better terms here. I just did not think that bad things could happen to me because I was a believer. I was uh, following the Lord, like the Lord only had good, good things for me. And yes, that's true, but we live in a fallen world and we're going to have tribulations and trials and sickness and disease because of sin are in our world. So the way to combat that is to declare God's word over your life. It is to be in prayer. It's to be in fellowship with the Lord because we are living in a world that is dominated by evil and by darkness. But it's us, God's people, who have the Holy Spirit living in the inside of us that is keeping the darkness at bay. Like we will not be completely overtaken. But that doesn't mean that life is going to be easy. It doesn't mean that we're not going to face challenges in trials, in hard times, right? We are definitely going to. Okay, here's another one. It says, Father, because of your word, I am an overcomer. I overcome the world, the flesh, and the devil by the blood of the lamb in the word of my testimony. That's based off 1 John 10, 10 and John 6, 63 right there. I mean, you could declare that over your life and you should until that becomes a reality for you. Until you can live in that space of, of hope, knowing that regardless of what you face, you are an overcomer because of the Father, right? Because he overcame the word Jesus Christ. He sent Jesus Christ to overcome the world, to overcome the flesh, to overcome the devil. And he did, but we are still living here on this earth. And until God comes back, G until Jesus comes back or until God brings us home, we are going to be fighting against the evil forces here in this world. So I just want to encourage you today to not lose hope. As believers in Jesus Christ, we have hope that goes beyond this world. We have hope that goes beyond our five senses. We have hope that goes way beyond anything that we can see with our physical eyes. So today, as you spend time with the Lord, and I pray that you're spending time with the Lord, spend time declaring his word, his truth over your life so that you can live as an overcomer. And the last verse I want to read here today is Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Listen, it is Christ living on the inside of us that strengthens us to overcome. And when we put God's word into action, when we declare it over our lives, when we call it into into being, when we call it into reality, I guess I don't know how I want to say it. When we, when we declare it, we are activating God's word in our lives. And therefore it becomes not just words, but it becomes action. It becomes real and live and powerful and transformational. <laughs> And I just hope that that word encourages you to just be in the word every single day so that the Lord can transform those things in your life that right now seem unbearable. They seem unchanging, but nothing in this world is unchanging against the power of God's word. Amen. Heavenly Father, we just thank you so much for your word, Lord. We just thank you that your word is alive and active, and it's powerful to help us overcome any situation that we face in our life. So, Lord, I just pray that each one of us will be in the word of God, that each one of us will be declaring the word of God over our lives every single day. And, Lord, you will make it come to pass. And, Lord, we just thank you and praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. I hope that word encourage you. If it does, please like and, and share and subscribe to my newsletter below so that you never miss 
an encouraging word. Okay, take care. I'll be here next Wednesday. God bless.